Welcome to this video, Meteorite Hypothesis Younger Dryas. Regarding Younger Dryas and all related to it, like an ice age, extinctions and black mats, one single hypothesis seems to call most of the attention. That is the hypothesis of a meteorite impact 12,800 BP, the green arrow up, that supposedly caused what science and consensus called the Younger Dryas, the period is most known as a kind of an ice age, the green arrow up, and an age that a plant dryas, dryas octopetala, was more abundant. In this hypothesis the meteorite, its impact or the ice age it caused, led to subsequent extinction of humans like the Clovis cultures, megafauna and caused atypical black mats, all three in large parts of the world. In the presented figure, the so-called younger dryas cooling, green arrow up, also number 6 in the image pointing to the blue cooling line with number 5, was hypothesized to have been caused by a meteorite impact roughly 12,800 BP, but when clinically analyzed it was clearly not. Before we delve deeper into this hypothesis and its paradigms, I present my hypothesis of what happened because that makes this video and the study of this so-called ice age, its exceptional extinctions and black mats etc. more efficient. To link this period to a kind of new or exceptional ice age is strange because it comes after and is the continuation of a period of tens of thousands of years with lower temperatures and consequently ice ages. The ice ages or ice age in these tens of thousands of years are not attributed to meteorites, so there is no need to claim a meteorite impact that was never proven and has much evidence against it, the meteorite impact hypothesis. All that takes place in the Younger Dryas also took place at least seven times in the period before the Younger Dryas. The plant Dryas was not only present in the so-called Younger Dryas, but was present in the period before the Younger Dryas and possibly tens of thousands of years before the Younger Dryas. Hence the periods before the Younger Dryas are called Older Dryas and Oldest Dryas, and the plant, Dryas octopetala, was around before, probably because today it is called characteristic for Arctic Alpine regions. In other words, from a climate standpoint there is nothing abnormal taking place during the Younger Dryas. What is in fact abnormal is the Holocene, that starts after the Younger Dryas, and that is more than thousand years after the supposed meteorite impact, Green Arrow Up. Intermezzo. The Younger Dryas is named after an indicator genus, the Alpine Tundra Wildflower Dryas octopetala, as its leaves are occasionally abundant in late glacial, often mineralogenic rich sediments, such as the lake sediments of Scandinavia. End of intermezzo. So the Younger Dryas plant is not characteristic for the Younger Dryas, but rather an indicator of mineralogenic rich sediments and possibly and even probably for mining by humans. I will provide in this and other videos important evidence for such intensive mining by humans especially during the Younger Dryas. In this particular period the mining was done by humans of the haplogroup R and possibly I, and this is the onset of the turning over of the world or the hybrid era by the freshly arriving haplogroup R which I call the boomers or the warriors of the global empire that turn over the world and gives rise to us modern humans. We are their descendants. So we come from where they come from, and that is the Americas. This also led to the confusion of Native Americans coming from Europeans, Solutrean hypothesis, which is wrong as recently confirmed by consensus. In Western Europe and Western Eurasia the total turnover from the former people, Habitants or Clovis-like people of the haplogroup Q is executed mainly by the haplogroup R and possibly I. Associations with haplogroups. You can skip this and end the video here if you do not want to dive into the haplogroup associations at this point. Why DNA I was possibly involved in the turnover of the Clovis, North America, and the related Clovis-likes, Magdalenians etc., Western Eurasia and Western Europe. Independent if Y DNA I were involved or not, they themselves will be overturned or replaced and possibly absorbed, by the more recent hybrids or mutations of haplogroup R or the boomers. When this happens they will kind of associate and retreat together with Q. So this draws us closer to my hypotheses that follow in the next chapter and video. Thank you for watching. Bye.